everyone. Um, I'm Grant. I'm a bird nerd. I'm a plant nerd. I'm still playing around with my new setup. So we're going to do something really low key today and we're going to be quick. Lots of questions you can um, you can pop in if you like in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm located in Melbourne in the Antipodean uh, Garden State of Australia. So we're going to be talking about my project for this year. And I had, look, I had said I was going to show you all the plants that I'm going to use, but I've since had some thoughts. So uh, I think what I might do is add in some extra, um, uh, an extra show that's not in the morning uh, to actually show you what I'm considering and we'll we'll start with a with a big list and we'll whittle it down uh, over time now let me know in the comments because I'm seeing some latency on my monitor um, can you can you see me moving um, I'm a bit I'm a bit put off by that so maybe uh, I just want to make sure that everything's working it seemed fine uh, just let me know. Just let me know. Um, so so so. Let me um, let me get this. Uh, is that going to work? There we are. That's what I was wanting to do for the whole for the whole time. All right. Now, hopefully, you can see me and you can see the presentation. Uh, no movement. Okay. That was what I was worried about, Betty. Um, if that's not if that's not working, you can hear me though, right? You can hear me. Um, uh, hi, Betty. Too, by the way. Um, this is annoying. I'm get, really need to sort this out. Okay, so you can hear me fine, but you, I'm frozen on the screen. Oh, I've really got to get on top of this. Works when I test it, and then it doesn't work when I. Um, and doing the the actual live stream. Hmm. Uh, 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 okay. Look, I tell you what. I, what I'm what I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste you waste your time uh, while we're dicking around with this. I tell you what. I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to work on this. I'm really sorry because this is a pain in the neck. Uh, until I get until my new screen, my second screen arrives, I can't. I can't watch what I'm, what's happening. Uh, okay, Sulphur Crested. Hello. Now, Sulphur Crested, tell me where you are. Um, uh, Sulphur Crested, can you see me moving on the camera? That's what I would like to, I would like to know. Um, like when I'm moving around, you should see two panels on the screen at the moment. You should see my front yard uh, in one uh, in one side, and you should be able to see me um, with a bit of a background. So just let me know uh, if if you can actually see me fine. We'll persevere, and if I'm moving and it's not like just Okay, so Sulphur Crested, welcome. I haven't seen you uh, in the chat before. So tell me a little bit more about you. And if you don't know know about me, I'll tell you more about me. I'm a horticulturist, but I haven't worked as a professionally as a horticulturist for, for quite a while. Um, I've been learning all the skills to do uh, media stuff. I taught myself how to podcast years ago. And now I'm learning all the skills that go along with that, with the cameras and uh, improving the audio. And now I'm moving away from really simplified live streaming into a sort of studio setup and I'm testing it on you guys. Uh, I bought a new computer, but uh, in the configuration that I bought it, it won't run two monitors. Uh, so I got it set up to work with the monitor, with my old, my existing monitor and my new monitor, 
and of course being new it won't support my old monitor so I'm I've got to get a new monitor in and uh, anyway usual rubbish um, so but it's a good thing that it's a Saturday morning and this is a casual kind of show compared to uh, being a formal presentation let's um uh, let's cl let let's have a look at the at at my front yard now I live in a um, in a unit so what we're going to do this year this is my this is my plan um, this front yard this driveway is the the project now that's to give it give, give you an idea of the the front um, uh, so there's the front door of the unit and on the left that window was a real problem for years with birds flying into it so with the awning and the Japanese maple there uh, that seemed to have, seems to have ended. Now the other window is a front bedroom, and that front bedroom um, is <laughs> well the, because it, because we we're on a, a, a quite busy street, and there's a park across the road. That awning is always down, so bird strike on that one is not a problem, but the 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 window the window on the on the living room and there's a bird bath there uh, I have to be really mindful of bird strike so there we go just to give you another idea and that's the other aspect now the area I'm going to be working on is the area in front of that fence but as with every uh, every situation you have um, when you when you're working on any project there's limitations now my housemate has a mobility scooter so um, I've only got to work with the maybe meter and a half two meters in front of the boundary fence because um, because access is required for the whole time uh, up and down the uh, the middle and the left side of the driveway so and the other the other thing you can see it's concrete so what can we <laughs> what can we do other than grow plants in containers so that is the the limitations of the uh, of the site um, I also can't get too big because uh, that will upset my neighbours. Um, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the main thing I want to do is to provide some habitat in this area. And let's, I'll give you now a look at, um, uh, at what lies sort of outside of the, uh, of, of the unit. Let's have a look at this. So there you go, that was the 360 view across from me is a park. And that's where I do all my first seen herds and where most of my urban birding uh, happens. Now, I'll, I'll run that again and see if you can determine the main problem with the park as being a, a place that provides habitat. Just have a look. What can you notice about this park? I might, I'll 
run it through one more time and particularly the, at the start have a look So we're back to uh, back to the beginning. Um, let's uh, we don't need we don't need that anymore, do we? So let's go back to uh, back to me. Oh, back to me. There we are. Back to me. Uh, so what could you? Uh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey! This is great. Um, Let's just let's just let everyone know a bit about sulfur crested two crested. Oh, my back on. Uh, yes, sorry, the mic dropped out. Um, just an ordinary bird lover. Nobody is ordinary. Nobody's ordinary, and the great thing about um, getting involved in things like this and with the rest of the sort of bird emergency content, all the guests, is you can just learn day by day. You can learn a little bit more every day. So that's what we're, um, uh, that's what we're hoping to, to do with sharing. Um, uh, oh, I'm glad you've been checking out the Ricky Talks. Now, Sulphur Crested, uh, have you been on any of Ricky's tours? Um, uh, I'm, I'm vaguely remembering that somebody who was, uh, jumping into the, one of the streams with Ricky had been on one of the tours. Let me know. Now you are right on the money. Uh, the problem with the park, when, when I first moved here, which is now nearly 10 years ago, in most of the garden beds, especially directly across from me, where there's a... Uh, a lot of nice eucalypts. There were some uh, small calistamins and there were some uh, acacias and uh, I think there were some wastringas from from memory. There were some spots for small birds to hang out, but they were all removed a couple of years, uh, probably six, well, it's got to be six or seven years ago now. So in the area, there's nothing. And I, I hope you could notice from the shot down the street, it's a very traditional area where most of the gardens that have survived uh, are the, the typical fruit trees, lawn, maybe some roses, um, but no, no sort of wild places. And because of the development that's been happening here, every time a house sells, it gets completely knocked down and the whole garden gets pulled out. And they rebuild with some townhouses or some uh, some units. So one house becomes two units or four units or three townhouses. So it's the, it's the suburban creep. Now, I'm not really against that because we have to have uh, a move towards, in my view, we have to have a move towards more uh, medium density and even high density living in areas that have already been cleared so that we stop clearing new new areas of bush to expand the, uh, the suburbs. So that's a, that's a discussion for another time, which we will in fact be uh, getting into in mid-January. I've got a uh, a couple of guests to talk about that issue coming on. But so many people are, are in the same situation as me in that they don't own the property around here that they're renting. So you're limited to using containers, pots. So we're going to go through that whole process uh, following along uh, with me uh, over the next few months when we get started. And we get some, um, uh, you can see what, 
what I, what I select, how I propagate them, uh, or if I buy them and then where I source them. So I'll let you know all of that. Uh, self accrested I'm glad to see that you were, in fact, on one of Ricky's tours. Now, bear with me. I just want to let people know again that if you are on Twitter or X or LinkedIn, uh, and I can see there's some people, I can actually see some people on Twitter, uh, consider heading over to the Bird Emergency channel on YouTube and you will then be able to participate in the comments. I know that uh, you can read them, but you can't, um, you can't on Twitter, you cannot uh type in comments and ask questions and and part of the reason of doing this on a saturday morning uh in this format is so you can ask me some questions if you're heading off down to the uh, the hardware store or your local nursery um and you maybe you want to talk about something before you decide to buy it so that's that's the the, the point of view so uh there in the comments, you could uh, copy that link to go straight to this stream. And, of course, when you're there, make sure you subscribe. Uh, subscribe or follow, but uh, subscribe. There's been some changes to YouTube, and I will be doing more uh, content based on each individual platform. So, except for Twitter, Twitter won't be getting exclusive uh, content. Uh, so, if you if you use YouTube, f subscribe on YouTube, so you don't miss anything. YouTube is the main hub for this format of stuff. Um, the podcast is getting a revamp, and not all the content will go into the podcast. And Facebook is going to get its own uh, special exclusive content each week and the same with LinkedIn. But all this is kicking up, kicking off in the new year. Probably, um, we'll probably see most of the um, exclusive content starting when people are coming back to work. So we're talking about the, uh, the middle of the month, um, middle of January. So that's... Um, uh, that's something for you to bear in mind. Um, okay. Any any questions? Any thoughts about what is about my location, my front yard? Um, I do have a backyard, and it's very small. And I'll 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 prepare a video about what I would like to do with the backyard. We because it's so small. And we have bins, we have a compost bin, we have a worm bin, um, and then we've got to have the clothes. Uh, we've also got a dog that lives here. We've got an area for the dog. Um, so we're really, really limited in what can happen in the backyard as well. But I am going to be selecting a few special purpose plants in the backyard. Oh, and, and I, I didn't mention, uh, on the driveway and also... On the front garden bed, uh, we have the bird bath, but I'm also going to have a self-contained pond for. It's only small, but it's going to be for uh, for frogs uh, and also for birds to bathe in. Some bird that bird bath I have is to is very shallow. The magpies won't bathe in it. The pigeons won't bathe in it. So it's really only serving for some of the honey eaters and for the sparrows at the moment. So I do need something uh, bigger and deeper. Um, so, uh, thoughts? Um, thoughts? Questions? Comments? Um, and I'll, I'll let you know too, I have scheduled a end of year stream for tomorrow. That's really, for, that's for bird emergency to talk about Really, the conservation year. Uh, what what did, what were my thoughts of the year? And then we're going to do a fun stream, hopefully on New Year's Day, which is 
really looking ahead and trying to be a bit more a bit hopeful. What do we hope for the year um, in terms of conservation and um, maybe uh, how to uh, climate change? Following on from what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, now, hit me with the comments. Would you like me to come back later on today? No, I won't do that. What I will do, I will prepare a short video with the plants that I'm going to uh, think about using. And then we'll do, uh, next Saturday, we'll have a conversation after you have looked at the video for the, I don't know, I've got a list of about 60 plants that I want to use and I might do a little, I might do a little design and you can comment about that. That might be a good idea. Um, yeah, that will be a good idea. So I think that, I think that's what we'll do. Um, and we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll follow along. Um, so now, now it's your opportunity. If you've got any questions, any comments, get them in now and um, then if it, if there are none uh, I will uh, I'll head off and do what I need to do today and I'll see if I can um, if I can get this issue that um, uh, that Betty was having Betty if you're if, if you're still here Betty have you been able to um am i moving in facebook now or not um it yeah i may have to i, I like using the platform that i'm using because it's really easy for me to get all your comments in and answer them in one place but if if that if it's the platform that is the problem with facebook i might need to split them out into three uh three different screens Oh. Okay, Betty, thanks for that. So I'm still stuck. So it seems to be a seems to be a problem with Facebook because oh with yeah, with Facebook, so because YouTube is performing as as it's supposed to. Um self requested. Uh Okay, yes. Self requested has asked, uh, because sorry Betty, you can't see what's happening. Uh, so self aggressors asked, would I be able to cover which birds we're hoping to attract with each plant in the uh, in the video? Yes, I can do even better than that because I'm not only trying to attract birds. I'm trying to attract specific insects as well. Um, I would I would love uh, and and I'll make I'll. I'll give some ideas too. If you're in an area where you do have uh, native mammals and lizards and things, I'll uh, I'll talk about those as well. Uh, we, um, yeah, we um, we're not going to see any any animals. Uh, I don't think, and certainly the only ones that are around here are not desirable ones to attract. So I guess that's another uh, another thing we always need to discuss about the limitations of sites and the um, uh, and what you can achieve. And it's why I ask everyone when we start the stream each uh, each day where where you're from, because if you are in Darwin or if you're in Perth. Now, a lot of the plants that I'm going to mention are not perhaps going to be the best for you, but I can also suggest equivalents, uh, substitutes that will be good for your area. Um, and look, if you're international, we can work on that too. Uh, that's where the li the live stream experience is really good. And look, I can promise you when I have a, a second screen set up so that I can be uh, researching on one screen while 
uh, presenting on the other will make it much easier, but that's um, a little bit down the down the track. Um, yep, uh, self accredited. I think if you've been watching the deep dives, you you'll know that birds have um, uh, utilised the layers in the landscape, both both horizontal and vertical, for different purposes. And we've got shelter. We've got uh, uh, food source. Um, uh, we've got areas that birds will use just for communal hangout. Uh, now, in in my garden or my, that driveway, what I need to be uh, doing is really providing uh, first providing shelter and some food browsing opportunities. So, so they're the two main things now because they're in pots and they're on a driveway and it's difficult for me to water them with an automatic timer i can use like a reservoir in each pot or something like that which we'll be looking at but it's also open to the street so i've got to expect that at some time people are going to nick stuff uh so um so they have to be they have to be fairly drought tolerant and I I need to consider the containers that I use um, so that they are less likely to be uh, to be stolen. Um, also I have other issues to consider for that spot, which is uh, litter, like leaf litter. Uh, fruit litter, things like that, because there's going to be a mobility scooter coming in and out several times a day. Now, there is an opportunity for me to perhaps grow some plants uh, in pots uh, and give them to my neighbour on the other side because they don't want to be bothered with any maintenance. So if I if I present them with plants which are good-looking, screening, uh, provide them something to look at, and flowers particularly, and nice foliage, uh, that mean they don't have to come and prune them and, uh, or if they don't like the plant, I can just take the pot away. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll get that, you know, maybe metre and a half, two metre artificial garden bed <laughs> that's all pots. Uh, let's call it a border. Uh Maybe I can double it on the other side, which then does provide a reasonable um, opportunity for small birds to to use it. And if and if it works in in my location, well, then maybe I can find some neighbours further down the street who would like to do something similar with their driveways if they're not using them, or path areas at the front which they are not using. Because it's a very common situation where open space in uh, in these urban urban inner urban areas are not utilised. If people aren't using the path, uh, it's just being it's just wasted space in uh, in a landscape and habitat sense. Uh, so, all right, there's a good place for me to ask you if you have any any questions any more comments uh betty i'm really sorry that you haven't been able to watch uh my gorgeous handsome face uh or moving around anyway i'm guessing you i can see the frozen image that you're looking at i think i'm looking at a um uh, a possum in a uh, uh in an in, in a hollow log um so we really need to get that uh, sorted out. We really do need to get that sorted out. Um, and I will I will work on that. I'll try and do some troubleshooting. But it doesn't seem to be an issue on YouTube. So uh, actually I can... Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I do apologise for that, uh, Betty. I... It's only, uh, uh, 
it's only been a problem since I got the new computer. Maybe I will. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, 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 we'll try and sort it out. Uh, and I and and maybe Betty, if you if you might want to consider, um, you might want to consider joining on uh, on YouTube. I must admit, I am. I would like you to subscribe on YouTube and watch on YouTube because I'm trying to build the channel up to first 500 subscribers, which then lets me unlock some extra features, which can make the streams a bit more interactive, and then the pathway onto a thousand, which gives me, uh, lets me unlock more, um, more features because I want to make these, these streams much more, uh, much more fun. Uh, now I can see that there is someone here on Twitch. Uh, do any of you others who are, who are watching now, do you use Twitch? Because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing exclusive Twitch streams, which are going to be less educational, far more conserv, uh, conversational, and a lot more fun. So if you haven't dived in to Twitch, because it's gamers and the kids and everything, I can tell you there's a lot of uh, other content now being created on Twitch, and it's a lot of fun, and you can do a lot more collaborating and interacting um, with with people there. So that's just to give you a heads up of what's happening. Uh, uh, um, number 77 and just learning 70. Oh, okay. You're 77. I gotcha. Okay. Betty, um, I am... I'm, the reason I, I live stream to the different places is because I am mindful that people have their preferences uh, of what they're used to using. And um, what I, what I will do, Betty, if we don't, if we can't solve this live streaming issue and the frame rate in, in YouTube, um, actually, I think, I think I probably can. But if I can't, I will be replaying all of these streams, but exclusively for Facebook. So you should be able to get all of the uh, all of the content, the movement, and it's just a recap of what we've been uh, of what we've done. But I won't be here live on the replays, uh, and that way, at least you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see the video that uh, of of the site that we're going to be working on this year, and the stills, and to give you an idea, just you'll be just be able to catch up. I'll schedule that for um. Uh, I'll schedule that um for later today, uh, probably in the afternoon, maybe about the same time as I can get the other video that I promised about the plants that I'm considering um, and we get that up okay that's what that's what I'll do I'll go out and do all the things I've, I've got to do uh, Betty tell me more about what you are looking to get out of um, about of these habit these habitat gardening streams and and are you a bird nerd as well like a are you checking out the other content? Um, and like, are, are you in in a unit in a small uh, uh, in a in a house? Are you looking at plants to grow in containers, or are you looking to add to an existing garden? Uh, that's going to be a whole other topic in a in a few weeks. So. I, I'm just waiting to confirm. I think I've got an extra special guest coming on where we're going to talk about um, adding plants into an established garden because that can often that, that can be a challenge where people think that uh, it'll mess up 
it'll mess things up. I, I, I hear that a lot. I can't, I haven't got room for any other plants. Well, yeah, there's always room. Uh, generally not thinking about the kinds of plants that are available. So, but there's always room for another plant. Always. Um, uh, yeah. So Benny, let, let, let me know that. Um, who's going, who's got, who's got special New Year's Eve plans? Or are you doing what I'm doing, which is staying at home, keeping away from uh, all the issues that can arise? And I'm going to be streaming on, uh, uh, it, but it probably, it probably won't be to Facebook, um, Betty on New Year's Eve, I can, I can say. Okay, Betty, what are you told me? You're a bird nerd and planting lots of natives, working on oh, 131 acres near Goulburn Valley, um, near near Goulburn. Oh, Betty, you um, you were on the, uh, we were we were exchanging comments the um, uh, about two weeks ago. Am I right? Uh, very frosty in winter, planting lots of waratah. Okay, um, okay. Okay, okay. We need to... Well, we will do an episode talking about frost-tolerant plants. Um, uh, Betty, have you have you got... I mean, 131 acres, that's amazing. Is it a working property? Is it a, uh, is it a farm or is it, um, or is it just uh, an area that's sort of reclaiming itself to... Uh, to bushland, um, you sound like you. Uh, you might be. You might be near. Um, uh, I think. Uh, I think Betty. I think we'll do something specifically for your region. Let me work on that. It'll be it'll take a couple of weeks. I might have a good guest who is doing something. Uh, something in your area on a, on a large scale as well. So that, uh, that might be really, really good. Um, oh, I, I will add to, I am setting up a habitat gardening channel on YouTube and I will be over the next few months separating out the habitat gardening material and putting it on that channel. And I will start a Facebook um, page as well so that you can still watch on your, on your favorite channel, favorite platform, but it will be taken away from this channel. Just letting you know, um, because the algorithms don't like it when you add everything together, but the live streams, uh, in the interim, will go to both, but over probably by the end of the end of the financial year, probably by the end of June, I will have moved all the habitat gardening stuff, except when we uh, use uh, talking about it in the context of like shows like um, like the Monday with Holly and um, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you'll understand. It'll all make sense as we get uh, get along. Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so Betty did message a few weeks ago. Uh, no cows, only native animals, slash 70 acres. Wow, that uh, Betty, that sounds absolutely amazing. I'm uh, I'm super jealous, very jelly of you. Uh, what an opportunity. Do you have a bird list uh, for the for the area already, uh, Betty? And 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 have you got some eager helpers to um, help you get uh, do, do any of the work, the maintenance work, uh, putting in new plants? Really interested, uh, really really interested in 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 your project. I'm, so, oh, I'd love to have seventy acres to be um, uh, building into into habitat and you'll you'll be able to i mean you've got um gang gangs that you should be able to get in the area 
But it, do you, do you have a bird list for your property? That is that is what I'm really really interested to find out. Um, okay, I think that's. Uh, I'll just wait a few a, a couple more minutes to see if any more questions come in and if Betty can fill us in with uh, if she's got a bird list. Uh, self requested. I hope. I hope you're going out and doing something uh, today. For the Twitter, there's quite a few Twitterers uh, or Xers um, who have been uh, been with us. Do consider joining on on uh, on YouTube. Uh, very easy to find the Bird Emergency. Just look for the Bird Emergency on Twitter. Uh, not on Twitter, on YouTube, and you know it. It always comes up. I'll get the the birdemergency dot com slash YouTube link working. It is down today. Otherwise, I would have been promoting it. I'll get that working again today. I broke I broke the website yesterday. Mm. So a uh, bit of time. I'll get that up again today. Um. Uh, ah, H two rider. <laughs> Ah, yesterday I got an uh, I got an email from H two writer Murray, and he'd been on a walk, uh, and was uh, stumped by a bird that was being chased by cormorants, being harassed. Uh, it was very uh, it was very clear from the photo what it was. So uh, I'm I'm glad I sorted that one out for you. Um, really, really great bird the white-necked heron, um, really striking. You'll often see them, um, well, hopefully you don't see them when you're driving, but if you're a passenger in a vehicle, as you drive through the country, you'll often just see this white neck um, upright on the edge of uh, farm dams, and they move around a lot, so you'll... Uh, yeah, so that one, now that you've seen it, you'll see it all the time. Uh, Betty, um, oh, now, that's great. So you've got a tractor to dig the holes. That's great. Uh, uh, so it's always good when you're on a, on a large scale, uh, project having mechanical help digging the holes. Um, you've got a bird list of Goulburn. Okay, I'm I'm really interested in in what you've got on your own uh, on your own property. Uh, I do I do a list each day. Good um, wildcat. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you can you you can trap cats. I think um, we actually that's a whole that's a whole another episode, isn't it? Um, I don't know what your council, what the what the rules are with your council, um, but you can trap cats. The problem is with uh, with one hundred and thirty acres. If you've got one, you've got you'll have many. You'll have many. Um, but it has got my my thinking cap on now. I am wondering how we can best. Um, uh, Best give you some ideas of how to deal with that. You cats are cats are by far the biggest problem for people who are doing reveg work, re-establishing, uh, remediating habitat, uh, such as such as yourself, there, Betty. But I'm, uh, yeah, um, we might we, we might do some concentrating on. Uh, on the air on on Goulburn. Um just have a look. Uh, I can see there's some more Twitters Twitter is on, so let me put this up again just so people um if you're on Twitter you can <laughs> you can uh, join join on YouTube. That would be my preference because we're having those issues with Facebook Live today. Uh join on YouTube um oh, I'll fill you in, fill you in too. I can now um I can now do streams with all the content into 
uh, Instagram as well. So my first scene and herds. Hello, Naomi. Thanks for the Facebook like. Naomi, you're, I know you're watching on... Uh, uh, I know you're on Facebook. Tell me, am I frozen for you on Facebook? Um, or are you getting the stream as as normal? It may be a bandwidth, bandwidth with width issue um, for you, Betty. And if it is, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, so Naomi, I would love to know that. Um, uh, okay, so it's a Facebook issue. Okay, it's a Facebook issue. Um, yeah, that's uh, 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 Naomi. I don't know if you caught the earlier bit, but what I'm going to do is replay the. Uh, this session just to Facebook uh, late later in the day, uh, so it'll be there for you to be able to watch and maybe not, um, uh, maybe without doing the multi multi streaming to all the different platforms. Maybe maybe the video will work. Um, yeah, sorry sorry about about that. Uh, uh, H2 Rider, or otherwise known as Stormy or Murray, we've seen foxes, cats, and black rats in the area. Yeah, that I mean, they are the the normal problems, <laughs> pest problems in uh, in suburbia. Um, there's no there's no easy easy way to deal with them. Uh, which, yeah, there's just no easy, um, easy way to deal with them. It's such a problem, uh, such a problem. Um, all right, uh, all right, I'll just wait a little while longer. Any other comments or, um, or questions? Any questions? Uh, Naomi, did you see the uh, the presentation of the pro? Uh, oh no, you! I was frozen, so no, you couldn't have couldn't have seen it. Uh, we'll just get the we'll get this video up so you can all join in. Um, reminder that I'm doing a uh, a recap of the conservation year tomorrow. Uh, I think 12.30 is my uh, start time. So I'll start the stream at around 12.30 and we'll probably start the conversation and having some fun at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Same thing on New Year's Day, only on New Year's Day I want to be far more positive and look ahead uh, and share with all of you. I would like all of you to tell me what your hopes are, uh, anything you might be planning on doing to advance conservation uh in 2024 uh and oh maybe tomorrow if you if you are if you are joining me on stream tomorrow oh, tell me your big frustrations and your letdowns for the year or even if you had if you thought there were any big wins for the year uh we'll we'll take it from there i'll also let you know too just because I'm looking up at you now and my screen is over here in the next, hopefully in the next week. Uh, it depends on when people are working and when deliveries come. I'll have the camera over here uh, set with the screen, so I'm not always doing this. Uh, anyway, that's um, uh, that's how the sausage is made. Um, okay, any further comments? Oh, people are coming in. And, oh, all the Twitter, oh, they're they're all happening on Twitter again. Let me put the uh, put the thing on. I'm letting you know, Twitter, uh, Twitter or X. I'm letting you know. You can't you can't uh, tell me things. You can't comment. You can't ask questions. You can't uh, do stuff on Twitter. So 
please consider joining on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch if you are into Twitch. That would be that would be better. Um, also, setting up auto automatic moderation for the chats on the various platforms because sometimes the um, uh, sometimes it's a bit fruity. Uh, um, Betty, two king parrots yesterday. Uh, what do I need to plant for their food source? Okay, Betty. How about how about I do a uh, a stream on king parrots, rosellas, um, things like red rump parrots, and for if you're further out in the sticks, other size. So we're talking small, medium size parrots uh would that be a good idea we'll do that i don't want to just throw out the names now i'll prepare something so you can see the grasses the shrubs uh some of the small small trees and i'll also give you an idea of what you can do for supplemental feeding which is beneficial not damaging is it would you be happy with that uh we'll I think that would be uh, that would be better. Uh, Naomi says notifications came late. Yeah, that's um, that is happening uh, frequently. So what I what I'm trying to do, I, I was a bit tardy. I forgot to turn the turn the stream on early while I was making coffee and whatnot. But what I'll try and do, I notice more and more people are doing this in this when their live streaming is, I will maybe start the live stream at nine o'clock, but I won't actually be come on board, actually, you know, drop the, uh, uh, drop the video until, or drop the, the background, the, the start streaming screen um, until, you know, nine nine forty or something i might even start it an hour earlier um just so everyone's out there and and i might i might set up a special screen where we replay some highlights from earlier things while we're waiting for today's stream that might be a good idea um okay so betty yes okay that's betty's made the comment sounds amazing for the parrot special yes we'll do that okay we will do that and um self requested would like that too okay and what i'll do i'll separate out small and medium parrots from cockatoos because that's a whole different a whole different question um yeah and how i might how i might do this i'll give us some thought i might create a video like an instructional video and we might play that in the stream and then I can be here for questions. But then the um, but then the video is always there for people to find. Oh, yes, uh, Stormy, thanks for reminding me. Yes, uh, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed or follow or like and uh, smash that like button. But because we're a bird or channel, we're going to peck that like button. Peck that like button. Uh, thanks for the reminder there, Stormy. Um, yeah, okay. That's what I'm building into the workflow. I've got a couple of priorities at the moment. I've got uh, I got a message the other day on on Twitter. Uh, someone who just found because I'd been because I haven't really been participating in Twitter for a while, and I dropped off the first seen and heard, which actually come back on the first of January. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to experiment with that to try and get some more growth, hit some more people, get the cool kids on on TikTok, and get more people into birds, and more people into conservation of birds. That's really the the plan. Uh, so um, anyway, this person messaged me and said, "Oh, so much content." on the channel but what but because i haven't really been paying any attention to actually all the best practices for youtube is that they're all in this tab for live streams and i haven't actually 
uploaded the separate videos. So that's what I'm going through at the moment doing is uploading the separate videos, which are easier for people to find, but then linking those out to other things. So it's going to take a bit of time, but that's the priority. But I want to I want to make more of these short videos for these little special purposes. So there we go. We've got the parrot one and we've got the plant list for my project here. So uh, I will try and get that plant project here made today. Proviso, I do have to go out shortly and go to the shops. And depending on how long it takes me while I'm out and getting back, that will determine how much time I have today. But uh, it may not go up till tomorrow. But the plan is to get it up today. But I'll schedule a replay of today's stream so that you can watch it on YouTube, on Facebook and not see the... Um, will not be frozen, but I'll trim off the front so you don't have to watch the boring bits at the front. Um, okay, uh, Stormy, I'm glad that... Uh, well, th thanks for sending me that... Uh, I'm always happy for people to send me the f uh, pictures if they want a an ID. Um, I'm pretty... I'm pretty good. I'm not the bear. I'm not. I'm. I'm not the world's best expert, but. But I'm not expecting any of you to be sending me very difficult sandpipers or something, uh, uh, coming in. Oh, Betty, amazing! Had over a hundred yellow-tailed black cockies come in and feed on the banksias. Uh, now, uh, you could have a number of banksias there. You could have banksia serrata. Banksia integrifolia, Banksia colina, Banksia spinulosa. Um, tell me what you what you planted. Uh, yeah, to see the first ten call, then more come from every corner. Beyond amazing, yeah, that is. Uh, cockatoos are fantastic. I mean, I have corellas, little corellas, uh, long billed corellas. Sulfur crested cockatoos, galahs here. And that's what happens. They're out on their scouting. And if one of them finds something good, they screech out. And then before you know it, there's a dozen or more in. And well, when I was feeding in the park, I was getting hundreds too coming in a bit of a mixture. But I'm not feeding uh, currently in the park. I'm still, I'm still wondering about it. Um, uh, I'm starting to think that as long as I'm not just putting out this huge plate of feed, as long as it's scattering and they're still foraging, it's great for the kids because the park is heavily used by kids. It's great for them to get to see the birds up close. Uh, uh, oh, 40 different banksias. Yeah, that's why I'm so jealous. I'm a... Oh, I'm a big Banksia fan. Uh, love Banksias and Dryandras. Um, planted six years ago. Betty, I am really, really jealous of of you. I'm going to be saying that forever. But I'm look, I hope we can follow along with your project and perhaps you could, uh, maybe we can talk about your place in particular and maybe you could send me some photos and we can uh, really... Talk about what you're doing and what uh, what people think, and maybe suggestions, and we can just be amazed at the uh, at the effort you've been putting in and the results you've been getting. Um, maybe we can talk about any problems that you might have had as well uh, along the way, challenges that you've had to overcome. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that's uh, that's about as far as I I think we can take it today. Unless you've got any sp specific questions or specific comments, I better go out and wrestle the um, wrestle the crowds. Uh, I need to get to the supermarket, and I I need to buy a particular thing that I need at uh, at one of the big box stores. So I'm sure that'll be a less than enjoyable. Uh, situation today um, as always I am 
appreciative of you coming in and joining us on the stream. Um, I, I look forward to our conversations and our discussions. We need to come up with a with a name, a collective name for the Habitat Gardening crew. We have the Riot Squad for the bird emergency streams. Oh, oh I've been working on merch, Riot Squad merch, and I think I'm. It's not far off, folks. So, uh, yeah. Um, so what's coming up next week? Next week, uh, uh, First Seen and Heard comes back. Um, Dawn Chorus comes back next week. Um, I'll be restarting the members only shows. And I don't expect that there'll be any guests next week. I think everybody's still away, but I think we'll be getting back into doing some guest uh, shows from about the middle of January. And if you hadn't caught up, Holly is on long service leave until April. So Mondays will still be a fairly similar format. We'll be talking mostly about urban birds but i'm broadening it a little bit more to be urban biodiversity and that will be the the theme for the um uh, for the first four months of the year for sure uh, and then we'll see how it um how it, how we go when holly is back uh back working back on deck um Always up for your suggestions. You know that uh, suggestions, comments. Um, when I get the website, that the website should be back up working, uh, working today, and then we go back to the old, the old bird emergency email. When you can send me anything. Um, uh, uh, great Naomi. Yes, it's going to be crazy out with the Manning crowd. It's not too bad where I go. Um, but I'm trying really hard. I, ha I still haven't caught COVID and I'm trying really hard to not catch COVID. I'm getting the, uh, the next booster, the, the upgraded shot, but I can't get it until m middle, of, middle of Jan. So I'm being really careful with these crowds because COVID's just gone crazy again out, out here, everyone. Um, okay, Naomi, I'm glad you're looking forward to tomorrow's show. I, we... There's a lot of things that I want to go through. It, God, it could be could be six hours. Who knows? Um, I'm glad you'll have watched the repeat. Uh, it's always good to catch up with you, Betty. Uh, did you do a talk on frogs? No, I didn't do the frog one. I my guest that was coming on had to pull out, and I couldn't reschedule anyone else. So. Um, there is a frog one coming up, but I'm going to make a video that we can play and then talk about. I didn't think it was particularly useful for me to just, um, to just talk about frogs without a frog expert and someone who could provide some visuals to go along with having the chat. So that's coming up. Um, I will be doing as much as I can about frogs uh, in the context of gardens because it's so important. Same with pollinators and uh, and other insects and arthropods, but um, it's just harder to just talk about them because people don't visualise the differences in the same way that they do with plants and birds because... We all have greater familiarity with plants and birds. So, yeah, Betty, you haven't missed anything. Um, the newsletter is is almost up and running too. I dropped the ball a bit on that. Oh, look, I'll 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 tell the secret. When I got back from being away with uh, with Millie, I I got quite crook, but I also um, it's. 
over 10 years since I I had um, a really bad bout of depression, but right through from being a, a teenager, right through my um, 20s, 30s and into my 40s, I suffered with some pretty bad depression. For me, it comes in this big thud where I just... I just don't function and it's been 10 years since I've had it and and while it wasn't as bad as all that it just sapped my motivation so nothing nothing happened for quite for a couple of months um so but over it and and again the pattern with me is now it probably be 10 years until it happens again um so yeah so there, there we go. No excuses, just reasons. I mean, there are reasons for for it, and uh, um, nobody likes having uh, having that stuff going on. But that's just been the way of my life, right? So you just have to live with it, and um, and I do. Ah, Stormy H two Rider, uh, Perrin's tree frog. So this is why I didn't want to do just a discussion about frogs. Parents tree frog is not one I know. Um, so I really wanted to tie it in with with someone who's a real f- total frog nerd and the Frog ID app and all the other great things that are happening and some other resources about gardening uh, gardens and public spaces with frogs. So but that that that's coming. Frogs, lizards, mammals, uh, all the things, bats, 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 bats. Really keen to do a lot about bats. They're really important from a pollinator point of view. Um, so what is that? Can you hear that? Hey, Google, stop. I don't know where that music's coming from, but I've got music coming from somewhere. Not my phone? I don't know. It must be the TV. It must be my housemate. Um, uh, Naomi, yeah. Um, yeah, look, depression is terrible when it hits. Um Naomi, thanks for uh, thanks for that. Look, I I I'm quite open about it now. Um, uh, it's not it's nobody else's drama, but I just like to. I mean, because we are, you know, have we're we're in this parasocial relationship, with the with the streaming. Um, just a fact of life. Sometimes I, uh, just the way it is for me. When I can generally feel when it's coming, and most times I can just tweak my energy levels or my diet or something and stay on top of it but if i don't uh, it's really quite severe um nothing like i used to get in my 20s that was like the worst 20s and 30s um uh so i i consider myself really fortunate that since uh since then it's um it's been quite manageable but i think i was run down and I was sick, and I think that um, uh, sort of snapped it, or combined it all together to make it, uh, uh, you know, really, really demotivating for a time. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, look, it's not the ideal way. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal when you're trying to crank out, crank out content. Um, but I did make a decision that I wasn't going to be getting up at five o'clock and rushing around to try and do the uh, first scene and heard and to, you know, what I was doing, creating, you know, I was creating six little videos every morning and and then researching for something else. And it, I just thought, no, you need a break. So I had a break. But now I've got my energy levels back to uh, back to normal. So we've strayed quite a bit from uh, Habitat Gardening, hey, don't you think? Um, oh, and the other thing I'll, I'll let you know too is, um, you know, we've got this issue with Facebook this morning that not working, but 
I am producing the show in a slightly different way. So we're going to be seeing more presentations and me bringing more things in and making it far more visual and um, rather than just me sitting here going, hello, with my one one screen or the or the way I've been doing with the two uh, the two heads in an interview uh, it's going to try and be a lot more dynamic and also a lot more flattering for the people that come on the uh, come on the show and then a lot more usable to get out to other platforms because as you would know the whole point of doing it is to spread the word it's all about spreading the word uh, so more people care and that we actually can then hopefully uh, stop the steam train that's heading down a hill at such a rapid pace that we're going to lose so many so many species and that our quality of life, I think, is going to become far, far less. So anyway, the idea is to get more people to care and more people to do something. Um... Okay, that is going to be it. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Naomi, Stormy, Betty, um, Sulphur Crested. Who else did we get in in the comments? And all, there we go. I think that was, that's about it. Uh, what's Naomi, Naomi? My frogs are going crazy in the pond. Okay, you've got the banjo frog, brown tree frog, and marsh frog. So, yeah, we do need to do more frogs. So, oh, cicadas are going crazy. That's good. Uh, oh, question for all of you. Final one for today. Have you got any Christmas beetles in your area? There is a citizen science project, which I forgot to look up, but I might reference it tomorrow. Uh, somebody is looking for records of Christmas beetles. I haven't seen any in my my part of town uh, but keep your eyes out for for that um, yeah uh, all right folks uh, Betty hasn't seen any Christmas beetles outside of Goulburn uh, Janice hello Janice okay you're sending me a message on Facebook Messenger um okay i will check that later i might say janice facebook messenger is my least favorite place to do interactions because for for some reason i can't separate bird stuff from personal stuff and i get i get so much rubbish on facebook messenger i just don't check it to be honest so i will look for your message later on um but if you do use another messaging um, service or email or something would always be better. Um, yeah, Facebook is it, unless it comes through on these comments like now. I always look, but yes, Janice, I will have a I will have a look. And good to see you again too, by the way. Uh, and Naomi, no Christmas beetles. Uh, Okay, so it is it, it it's in our naturalist. Oh, I might highlight that um, on tomorrow's show and on um, Monday's show. Um, citizen science is something we're going to be doing more of. Oh, can you hear that? That's my uh, that's one of my housemates. That's Shadow, and he's um, he's discussing life with the the dogs next door. But they're not replying. He's getting very upset. Okay, well there we go. That's a really good cue for getting out of here. God, how many times have I tried to try to say goodbye? Uh, thanks, everyone. Naomi, uh, uh, sorry, Janice. I will be checking out that Facebook message when I've um, got out and done my shopping, and I'll see what's uh, what's what. I will be back. Uh, be replay later today. Um, the, the the short video of the plants we're considering for my project will be up uh, either later today or tomorrow morning and then streaming tomorrow and uh, uh, 
Christmas tomorrow, Sunday, tomorrow and Monday. Okay, see you everyone. Thanks.